हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी ए पार्ट फर्स्ट इंग्लिश लिटरेचर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ पोएम दैट इज प्रेस्क्राइब्ड इन योर सिलेबस ऑन हिज ट्वेंटी थर्ड बर्थडे कंपोज बाय जॉन मिल्टन इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड द बायोग्राफी ऑफ जॉन मिल्टन बट एट शॉर्ट introduction is given to you by me uh, one of the greatest english poets john milton was born on 9 december 1608 in bread street cheap side london and he was died on 8th of november 1674 and was buried beside his father in st giles cripple gate some of the famous works that uh, for whom john milton is known for are paradise lost and paradise regained his twin poems el allegro and el penser so were, uh, were also very famous john milton in this poem on his 23rd birthday this in this sonnet first of all uh, we should know when was what was the occasion when uh, john milton wrote this poem this sonnet on his 23rd birthday was written by john milton when he was a student at cambridge the sonnet shows a sense of dedication to a great mission and the spirit of resignation to the will of god in this poem the poet is talking about his age and his spending 23 years and this poem was written at, on his 23rd birthday the poet is uh, regretful at that age of 23 for not doing anything significant till now uh, this is a typical miltonic sonnet having two parts first octave and second is the state and this is one of the finest autobiographical poem that is why it is considered as an inseparable part of milton's autobiography on his arrival at the age of 23 written by john milton was created during the puritan period john milton was born in cheapside london in 1608 as i have told you earlier he grew up in a wealthy family that gave milton all the opportunities to be well educated and attend cambridge university one of the most highly decorated schools in europe and the world milton grew up during the puritan age literature during the puritan age shows the effects of social and religious conflicts these thoughts effect how milton wrote poetry and in this poem he reflects on his religious beliefs at the age of 43 milton was completely blind which affected his writing after that period although he wrote this poem before that time allowing a different view of the world and religion one thing to understand about milton's sonnet is their topical range was that he was not a writer of love sonnets Milton writes political sonnets, occasional sonnets, elegiac sonnets and sonnets of personal meditation like this one. The result of the Puritan period was a loss of freedom, severe persecution for all and a decline in literary progress. On his arrival at the age of 23 was most likely written in 1632 at a crucial time in Milton's life just after his graduation from Cambridge. Milton here acknowledges that he may not seem as mature as some of his contemporaries but expresses a desire to use his talent well and his trust in God's will for him over time. On his arrival at the age of 23 comments on how a man's life has gone by what he has done and achieved and what role God plays into the life of humanity. The poem shows the concerns that Milton had about his career when he was young and still hadn't chosen his own way in life. 
In this famous work of his, we don't see a celebration of birthday. You should notice students that this famous work is not a celebration of a birthday, but a problem that the young gentleman faces as time passes by. The author uses many metaphors and symbols in order to give a more vivid image of his problem. And at the end, he gives a solution to this problem. In fact, this problem is relevant even today, when young people have to decide on a career. Also, as time goes by, people ask them more often what they have done in their life. Milton places a tone of despair and hope all into one poem. He is aware he hasn't done anything worthwhile in his life yet, but believes God has still given him time to. The theme of the novel is that time goes quickly, and if you leave your time into the hand of God, he will be on the right path in life, but also the crisis of faith and putting your life into God's hands. Milton worries that time has passed too quickly. He has been at Cambridge studying, but has had little time to fulfill what he sees as his destiny. Milton is aware he is a talented poet, but instead of writing poetry, he has been studying. This precipitates a crisis of faith for the poet, who worries he has wasted precious time but maybe the poet's talent, which be it less or more, will be less when he is mature. He worries, although he is still confident of his future. And in this poem, his life's great task require inward ripeness. This is the passion of a great soul for noble achievement. And Milton shows his belief in God, who decides all things for the best. So, students this poem is basically a self contemplation poem and in this poem the poet also shows a firm determination a firm belief on god this sonnet truly really represents milton's faith in god from very early career of his life as you all know this is a petrarchan style sonnet and it is divided into eight parts. Sh starting eight lines are called octave and the last six lines are called sustate. The rhyming scheme is A, B, B, A, C, D, D, C, E, F, G, E, F, G. So, on his 23rd birthday remains an important place among Milton's poetry. It represents as well as the faith of the poet as well as his character and personality. So that is all about in this video. In the next video, we are going to study and explain the poem's text. Thank you all students.